Well, Mr. UPS man just came by and brought us something. Oh, the joy. Let's take a look, see what we got. I know what it is. I'm excited about it already. Okay. This is for the rat rod. And if you can't tell what it is, it is a cable emergency brake setup. And this is from a place called uh, Control Cables. I actually found this, I was looking uh, on online at one of the hot rod things and they were talking about that they'd gotten their cables from these guys. And what they do is they send you everything you need to set up a hand emergency brake. So you mount the handle down between the seats and then you mount, uh, there's a piece in here that mounts up under the car where the... So anyway, I was talking away and my camera quit. I have no idea why it does that sometimes. But the way these work is once you get the handles and everything installed, then you measure them and then you call the company back or you fill out the form, which is probably what I just accidentally cut into here. And you, you order the cables. They, they custom make the cables to be the right side to make your emergency brakes work. And this is what I've been waiting for. Uh, I've been kind of putting off doing much of anything car related because I knew that when this came, I was going to get right into this, and it's here now. So, I'm going to be getting right into this, and life is going to be good. Let me tell you. Yes, it is. Oh, the joy. Looking forward to it, too. Oh, the joy. I'll just set these up on top of the studi baker where I won't forget where they're at. Just watch me forget where they're at. Of course, since I got all of y'all, y'all can remind me where they're at. So that I forget where they're at, I can find them. Okay? Okay. Uh, this is a hydraulic brake lock. It's actually the one I took off of this car. The way this works is you have a brake line that goes in one side and out the other. And you mash your brakes hard and you push this down and it locks. And when you take your foot off the brake, it's supposed to stay down. And then when you tap the brake, it releases. It is technically a brake lock. However, it won't stop your car. And what I mean by that is if you're going down the road and you push your brake and it goes to the floor and you don't have any brakes, you can't pull up a brake handle like you can on a Volkswagen and have it lock the rear brakes because the hydraulic brake won't do that. Now, I have gotten this car inspected several times with this brake lock in, in place. Generally, the folks who, you know, inspect the car kind of frown when they do it, but they say, yeah, yeah, you're okay anyway. But this year, I couldn't get it to work. After it had been sitting for a while, it didn't work. I took it apart, put it back together. Still didn't work. I bought a new one, brand new one, put it in here. It still didn't work. It does everything it's supposed to do, meaning that I can lock the brakes and push it down and it will hold, but it won't lock the brakes um the car still will roll so i've decided heck with that i'm going with a cable brake setup it's going to be a lot more trouble and it's going to cost me more money but i'll never have to mess with it again it's kind of like having a mechanical clutch once you got one you never have to worry about that hydraulic stuff ever again so i was looking online i actually had years ago stripped all the brake system off of an old Ford Windstar van thing and I put them in a box in case I ever wanted to do this and do you think I could find that box? No, I couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know if I gave that away to Mike. I could have given it to Mike. I don't know, but I gave it to somebody and I searched all over and couldn't find it. So I went online and I found this place called Control Cable and they will sell you a cable brake handle setup. Well, they got several setups but they will sell you the pieces and the parts that you need to set up a cable brake. So what you get from them for, oh, a little over $100 is you get the handle, which uh, I have it right here. And it's basically almost, well, I won't take it out of the package, but it's almost, any of y'all that are familiar with a Volkswagen, it's almost identical to the Volkswagen style handle 
it mounts to the floor here this part down here pulls the cable there's a bracket inside here that kind of makes the floor mount and this is the part that will mount down there where that cable where that the hydraulic lock is this piece back here mounts up under the back of the car um, your cable lines connect to this and they come in from both sides of the rear end into here and they go into that and then that handle pulls this so what you do is you set all this stuff up under your car and down in your floor and then you take your measurements and then you give them a call and they will make cables that are the right length to go from your rear uh, backing plates brakes to this right here so uh, I read about it on the ham, and somebody said there that was the best way they figured out to get a, a setup that works. Rather than taking a cable brake that doesn't fit and trying to put clamps and, and crimps and do all kind of thing to make it work, it's, it's a quick and easy. I don't know how inexpensive it's going to be because I don't know what the cables are going to cost, but all in all, it seemed like a pretty good idea. I'm going to go with it, which means I'm going to start the installation process today which means I'm going to mount this part under the car and I'm going to mount this handle part down there and I may take out this old hydraulic brake setup is basically just not needed and I could take it out completely and then simplify my brake lines what I may do is that, or what I may do is something else. I'm just still considering how is the best way to go. And probably what I'm going to have to do is kind of take all the seats out of here and the, and the, the mats and things and figure out how's the best way to mount this to my floor. I know I've got a steel plate underneath this oak floor down in here. And so probably what's going to amount to is I've actually taken the oak away where I have this hydraulic when mounted and I may use that same space to mount this handle in but we'll see we're gonna kind of we're kind of gonna kind of work our way through that as we go so that's what I'm gonna be doing today and yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing today that's the plan that's the whole plan and that's the only plan other than enjoying myself and you know at my age I'm retired and I'm making it a point to enjoy every day because you don't ever know when you're gonna get another one you know my buddy dead I Dan dropped dead in the middle of the night my other buddy Mike he got the cancer and he died um, I've known guys that just one day they're alive the next day they're gone and it makes you think you know if you're alive by golly you got two choices enjoy it or be miserable and I have decided to enjoy it and so far I'm doing a pretty good job of it. I sure am there's a lot of things I have that other people don't and there's a lot of other things that people have that I don't but I don't need nothing anybody else has got and uh, and just I mean what what other measurement of wealth is there than that if you've got everything you could ever want you've got a, a wife who's also your friend you like to hang out with you've got a good dog or two life is good that's what I'm saying life is good so I'm going to shut y'all down now and I'll come back when I got something new and interesting to show you. <laughs>